Hey guys, so, hey guys, so, in my quarantine boredom, um, I decided to record myself playing an old classic, uh, Hitman Blood Money. Uh, I had this game a long time ago, and it was by far my favorite Hitman game, and a game that I played through at least twice before, um, but it's been so long that I forget some of it. So, I uh, figured I'd record myself playing through it, and you know, if you find it entertaining, great hit the subscribe button. Um, if I get some subscribers or views from this, I'll definitely do more of them. Um, but this is mainly just me having fun playing this game, and I'll try to give as much commentary uh, as possible. Uh, Alright, so we're going to start a new game. I'll just be real basic and put my name in. And, okay, save successful. Now, I've already gone through and played the first two levels, uh, but I will replay them. Um, and I've also updated my graphics for this because it wants to load in a old resolution. Um, so, not going to be doing it in that. Um, figure out might as well get as much detail as I can given it's an older game. Um, so, I'm just going to play this through this on normal. Um, it's been years since I played it. Um, and I'm just not that great at video games, so uh, although I enjoy them, so I'm just gonna put it on normal. Oh, I can see where this is going. Oh my god. This is like every child's worst nightmare. An adult, maybe. This just in. Unconfirmed reports of an accident at Southland Park. I can't find my boy! Hundreds of family members gathered outside the deserted park today to commemorate the second anniversary of the Yeah, people are going to be mad. The park's safety. Authorities report at least 30 deaths. That guy's got like 5 chances. Five years since the tragedy closed the gates of Southland Park. But new evidence is like one giant prosecution. Double chance. He will be vindicated every penny of his fortune defending himself from these lawsuits. Defending Southland Park all the time. There were people flying everywhere. Body and the victim's Blood. families oh have God. vowed to appeal the decision. Cleared of all charges. Nice stogie. Come, have a cup of tea, hon. Sitting in the dark won't bring him back. This guy's just like sitting in the dark smoking a, a cigar at night. <laughs> Staring at it. A photo of his dead son. I would uh, like to place an order. Yeah, he's mad. Alright, so at least we have some moral justification here. I feel like it's going to degrade a lot as the game goes on. <laughs> but at least this guy. Uh, I don't know. Nah. Negligence? I don't know. It's certainly a gray area. Anyway, this game actually destroys all. This training level will okay. introduce to you the various We're skills and techniques. We're not going to do that because I know how to play it. But yeah, this game kind of forces you to kill a lot of innocent people. Well, somewhat innocent people. So I don't think, I don't know. The whole thing it's trying to do with giving you some sort of moral ground to stand on. Honestly, I don't buy it, but. It's not like I did anything moral in GTA either. Welcome to the States, 47. This should be a straightforward operation. I'm gonna run. We need you to penetrate the, the abandoned amusement park. Locate the owner. Out of my way, verbs. The target is a Joseph Clarence, also known as Swing King. An accident involving one of the rides at the park a few years hey, buddy. back forced him to close it down. Let me in. Our client has made a Let me in. Request that the photograph you have in your possession be the last thing the target sees. Mr. Clarence has somehow become involved with a narcotic uh, distribution ring, so 
the park may still have some amusements. Enjoy the ride, 47. Hey, buddy. I'm in. What the fuck you looking at, crackers? <laughs> I'm here to see Joseph Clarence. <laughs> Never heard of him. Mr. Swing King. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, ass dickhead. What the fuck they call you? Names are for friends, so I don't need one. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how this guy has a career as a hitman. Like, that guy is probably not gonna die. Saw his face, heard his voice. That's just sloppy. Alright, let's go in here. Make sure we're nice and sneaky. Some guards over. <laughs> guards. We're gonna throw a coin you know out that here? window. The bus lawyers ain't gonna prosecute you. Bony black ass. I can remember how to do that. Don't do shit but fuck a brother over when his bitch run off. Uh, uh G. Yeah. What the fuck that weasel ass motherfucker? Used to be rich. Well, we both been back. You didn't hear that? All right. Exactly why his old lady is divorcing his ass. Do you think you're cracking my cop? Oh, what? All right. There we go. Let's get this out just in case. You'd think they would hear that, but they don't. Uh, where am I going? Enter the theater. Oh, they end up seeing me every fucking time. Maybe they won't this time. Up, oh, yep. Where? I don't have a gun? Really? Alright. I gotta kill this guy. Eight shots. Alright. Now I can sneak up on this guy. I can never get past those gangsters. You see what I mean though? I would have snuck by him. I just didn't see a way. Now, there may be a way that I just don't know of. Now there's no explanation as to why I have to kill this guy either. He seems like a bad guy. He's kidnapping this poor, poor dude. Help! Help me! Help! Help me! There really isn't a way to do that. Um, can I can I look at this? I feel like that that's important. Help! Help! Me. Whatever. Help! Help me! Eh, the cops will get you, buddy. Hell kind of circus. Jesus. I'd like to think that they just put that up to mess with this guy. That would be pretty cool. Alright. Yeah, so here here is a situation where you, you, they, you're just going to have to kill them. There's no... There's no uh, other way around it. And this is like the tutorial mission. So, we're gonna pick the lock, go in there, take out our 45 caliber. And then we're gonna, we're gonna dispose of them. In the world of Hitman, there are chests everywhere and freezers. The industry is doing great. Now, obviously in later missions, look at this, this is a bloodstain still. <laughs>
card. Gonna totally put his suit on, cause why not? Can't hide him anywhere, so. Now, I've never, I always assume this guy's gonna shoot me in the past replays. But now that I have this disguise, I should be all right. I, mean, I shouldn't have to kill any of those guys. See, the game rewards you for killing less people. And, oh, okay. Hmm. Let me get that gun. Um, the least amount of people possible. But then it presents you with times where you, you don't you don't have an option. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Police. There we go. Now I don't think you need to do this, but I'm just gonna humor them. I think this is definitely one of those levels where you could just shoot through if you wanted to. I did pick up the green cape. Gotta check you, white bread. I'm over here. Alright, you cool. You didn't really? I put <laughs> I put a gun in there. <laughs> like in this. Uh, how do you Okay. Just close that door. It's all up. Yeah, it is definitely <laughs> fucked up. Da, 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 da. I can get the money, sweetie. It's as good as mine already. Mr. Spook's got it. We'll open the park. It'll be like old times. No, no, just a few more days. You gotta believe me. Don't say that, sunshine. Mr. Spook's gonna come true, baby. He's good for the money. I won't sign the papers. I won't. You gotta give me one more chance. You gotta. Baby cakes? D sunshine? Hello? This guy's got problems. I'm about to solve them though. <laughs> Sorta. See, in future levels you get a sedative syringe. And like, that's a really good go-to. I think this level is just trying to teach you all the stuff you can do. Da, 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 da. I want you to break this power box. I will say, I don't really understand the, some of the plot items in this, because, like, alright, so this guy was running. An amusement park, and you know, his negligence resulted in a lot of people dying. And then, when you think you would have lots of, you know, FBI police eyes on you, he starts selling drugs. What? In the same location? Like I could see it if if it was somewhere else, maybe. All right. Uh, but. No. <laughs> like they say, he just as long as they come, as long as they pin. He just, you know, does it right here. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. This has a has a pulp fiction vibes to it for sure. Uh oh. I'm not gonna be able to use him as a human shield. That's good. Well, that's all right. I wonder if I can just walk up to that. Nope. That's okay. Ugh. Ugh, what?
it's uh, it's been a while now, uh, Scoop, and I was just wondering uh, where we were on the whole money thing. Were you? Yeah, see, the thing is, if you remember, you know what we agreed to was it'd just be a short while and you'd pay in cash and... Uh, and uh, I know the what the pressure was you were under must be, but the deal is a deal and I was hoping, you know, maybe you could just pay what we agreed on, even though you've been here for heck, more than twice as long as we agreed to, but, but just pay the original amount and move on. Not right away necessarily, but you know, I'd appreciate it. No. Ah! Uh, this guy's a bitch. <laughs> I never understand the rifle suitcase. I guess it just hides the gun. I don't know. This is another thing that's weird. You have to hit X to get to the scope. One. Where's the other guy here? Another guy. And there's a guy over here. Alright. Now, I'm gonna drop this guy because I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't need it either. Uh, oh, oh, no. That's good. Yep. Uh huh. Find the door to the office. Office! Oh, why, thank you. Do you have a weapon? Yes, you do. And I took it. Up the syringe. Oh yeah, okay. Here we go. Syringe poison. Oh, sleepy guy though. I want this the tranquilizer, especially because these people don't deserve to be poisoned. Depends who's unwrapping me. God damn, girl! I'd have your fine ass unwrapped before you could say. Who's that handsome stud on time I river? Uh, I bet you could. Uh, Alright, you both deserve to die. <laughs> Wait. Oh, she's gonna be a witness. That's gonna be bad. Where'd you go? Uh oh. Not good. Oh, there you are. Ugh, that one almost got away from me. Jesus. <laughs> this graphic is shit. <laughs> Alright. Can't leave any witnesses. That's important. Although we did leave the guy who checked my box. Eh. What you got in here, boy? Vague mag- Ha! <laughs> Vague magazine. That's good. Anything interesting? Nope. Who the hell are you? How'd you get in here? Carol Ann! My client has hired me to show you this photograph. I like how he didn't hear understand. the girl screaming. <laughs> My client has asked me to ensure it's the last thing you ever see. Please, look at the photograph, Mr. Clarence. Oh, please. Haven't I suffered enough? I Don't you think I know how much suffering I'm responsible for? Probably. I can't sleep. I haven't slept in... The guilt I feel. I'm so sorry. I know I can never... No. Oh, please. Haven't I suffered enough? Okay. I don't... Oh, boy. Let me get that photo back. That'll be bad evidence. What are you reading in here? Baseball life. 
Willie Mays. Mm, messed up trophy. All right, let's get out of here. Huh? Like how they just have bombs just sitting. Oh, just yeah, just put the bomb out on the on the deck, Carol Ann. Yeah, it's fine out there. It's no problem. Yeah, no, don't bother putting the top on either. Don't even worry about it. I like how they have an entire winch set up for just this. Alright, let's move back. And let's crouch down behind this board. I'll grab our detonator. And then they're probably going to be mad, so. What caliber is this? Eh, it doesn't say. Ooh, I wonder if they just won't know who I am because I have the chemist suit on. Nope, they do. God, that's so much recoil. Ah, Desert Eagle. Magnum ammo. Ah, <laughs> uh, cool, you guys have some ammo. I don't know if that carries with me to the next level, but video gaming has taught me to pick up ammo. Ah, oh, man, this is quite the moral predicament here. Well, I did say no witnesses. Oof, sorry. Eraser Massacre is 18. Massacres. You told me to do it. Uh, so yeah, this gives you like a, a pretend article that tells you about your performance. Um, yeah. Discovery. Eh. They have absolutely no clue of the killer's appearance as nobody claims to have seen him or her. I feel like they would have noticed that I looked different from the chemist. Uh. Okay, just a guy looking satisfied. Cool. Not sure what that was about, but, all right. <laughs>